Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. January 26, 1993, Václav Havel, President of the Czech Republic. Václav Havel, Czech intellectual and politician, was born in Prague in 1936. He was the last president of the Czechoslovak Republic and the first of the Czech Republic. A prominent dissident of the communist regime that governed Czechoslovakia, he combined his literary career with an active activism. As president of the Club of Independent Writers, he supported the Prague Spring the period from January 5 to August 21, 1968, when the Alexander government Dubsek, supported by the population, tried to promote political liberalization reforms in Czechoslovakia which led to a subsequent ban on publishing his works. Later, he was a spokesman for the human rights. Movements Carta 77 Ivans, Committee for the Defense of the Unjustly Persecuted, for which he was arrested. When the reforms of Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev weakened the position of the communist dictatorship in Czechoslovakia, Havel collaborated with the founding of the Civic Forum, 1989, a political platform that brought together most of the opposition. That same year, he headed the so-called Velvet Revolution, which, with the support of popular mobilization, managed to overthrow the regime without producing bloodshed and established a democratic regime in Czechoslovakia, of which Havel himself was elected president. During his tenure, he defended a clearly Europeanist and democratic political line. The liberalizing reforms of Prime Minister Václav Klaus and the dismantling of the planned communist economy brought with it a huge social cost, especially frightening for backward Slovakia. This ended up exacerbating Slovak nationalism and causing the country's secession, which also occurred peacefully in 1922, when Slovakia proclaimed its independence. Havel directly opposed this division and resigned the presidency in order not to participate in it. However, once the Czech Republic was constituted, Havel was elected president by parliament in 1993. As president, he promoted the entry, both of the Czech Republic and the countries of the old Warsaw Pact, into NATO, which would take effect in 1999. In the at the end of his first term in November 1997, he pressured Prime Minister Václav Klaus to resign, as his office was caught in an illegal financing case that had already led to the resignation of eight of his ministers. In 1998, he was re-elected president. He remained in office until the end of his term in 2003, despite health problems. He passed away in 2011. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.